my fellow Amazonians. Yesterday we watched a desperate and defeated enemy mobilizing tanks to fighting Amazonians. This bankrupt colonial outpost must be reminded that tanks don't fight wars. Propaganda does not win wars either. Ambazonia remains a graveyard for the last brutal recolonial outpost designed to impose hardship over the first democracy in the continent. A few kilometers from the Eritrean capital lies a tank graveyard of thousands of Ethiopian tanks killed by the Eritrean liberators. In 1989, a brave patriot at Tiananmen Square demonstrated bravery when he stopped hundreds of tanks. Ambazonia means business. There will be no peace without justice, no peace under alien rule, and no peace with independence. Ambazonia is on a course to ending the nightmare imposed on it 60 years ago. Remain stubbornly defiant and unapologetically unyielding to both domestic and foreign pressures. Fellow Ambazonians, a few years ago, we made it abundantly clear that those who plot, scheme, and enable the colonization of our homeland and by their actions and omissions supporting the genocide on our people have no space in life or in death in our country. Except where we cannot at the moment exercise power, their bodies will be exhumed and disposed in the sea. Below our soil cannot coexist General Ivo and Ikema. In the past days, we have learned of the passing of an exile enabler. The founder of Enwen was a traitor who worked for the enemy against his people. His body should be disposed of in the sea or buried in the land he paid allegiance to. The price for our freedom must be borne by all without exception. Let me also use this opportunity once more warn those who use our struggle to harass our population extort monies from families during burial. We will not allow you to impose further psychological pain on bereaved families. I call on the DDC Kapo, whom I appointed as our anti-kidnapping Tsar, to double his effort in ensuring that the protection of our people and the arrest and persecution of these bandits harassing our population. Fellow Ambazonians, as I wrote a few days ago, the bravery demonstrated by our forces in the past weeks has rekindled our spirit of nationalism and determination. I once more advise our fighting men and women to respect the rules of war, show no mercy to living enemy forces, treat captured ones with humanity and execute them after due process with dignity. We will use high profit targets to exchange for exchange purposes. In the past week, no PT has fought well as a soldier to have allowed himself to be manipulated by the corrupt militant cartel did disservice to Ambazonia. These criminals who have ordered the murder of our forces embezzled millions are thereby facilitating genocide, attack the integrity of those who have sacrificed for our land and lost their liberty engineered in fighting for their temporal political profiling should never be given a platform to exploit soldiers to fail to arm, support and encourage. All soldiers on the ground must distance themselves from this loose criminal cartel and focus on the defense of our homeland. Our forces will continue to provide, facilitate and support the initiative of others in the spirit of the block by block. I welcome the reproachment of General Capo and a unit of Bui warriors that was not involved in the massacre of our forces. This spirit should continue to enable us and the pain imposed on our people. Yesterday, an anonymous donor donated $29,000 to enable us proceed with the consolidation of our gains and all the wheels of effective actions. We will remain focused on the strategy while building capacity to ensure that our gains are not rolled back by internal or external threats. God bless Ambazonia. A message from Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba, President of the Ambazonia Governing Council.